So let's say you're trying to do gaming on a laptop, and you run into the situation where your laptop is not necessarily designed for gaming or whatever, but it's running really, really hot, and it is the fans are running really loud, as you can maybe hear right now, depending on your speaker setup. Um, the fans are running loud, your laptop is running really hot, and it's running slow, really slow. There is actually a way, depending on what exactly is going wrong, if your laptop is running really slow for gaming, there's actually a way to speed it up. And we will get to that in a minute. This is a homemade solution, or contraption, I guess you could say, from things you'd find around the kitchen. And we'll also discuss when the, uh, there was a time when it went wrong and almost killed the whole computer. And so we'll discuss how to avoid that as well. The uh, purpose of this video is to show you guys an idea that may work for your situation, or at least will give you some ideas for what you can do in your own particular situation. And let's get into it right now. If you're encountering a really slow laptop, it may be possible, as was the case in my situation, that, well, two things. One is that you just have a really slow laptop, which is what my situation is. But also, number two could be that your laptop is overheating, or not overheating, but it has a, in most modern computers, it has a way, maybe all modern computers, I don't know, but to manage the heat so it doesn't overheat, and that thing is called thermal throttling, uh, that's usually what it's called anyway, it's thermal throttling, and basically what it does is if your laptop is running too hot, it actually slows your processor down so that it produces less heat, and then it doesn't overheat and fry your components and stuff like that, but of course that means that it slows down. <laughs> While you're trying to do, on an already somewhat slow laptop, you're trying to do gaming, and you need maximum performance, and it's just not working. So, so basically, as far as I understand it, for how heat works, is there's two ways you can deal with it, basically. Um, the first way is to actually cool down the actual air, and that's the first option. And the second option is to just take the hot air and move it out of the way. And so, basically, this, um, this solution does both of those things. Not necessarily possible on all laptops, it depends on what the uh, what the laptop is made out of. So this is aluminum, so it conducts heat really, really well. If you have a laptop that has a plastic body, I don't know how it would handle the situation, but it is this here. This is a laptop cooling pad, or a um, homemade version of a cooling pad that you can do for, like, inexpensive. And let's take a look at it in a second. Now this is going to be a bit difficult to film because I can't actually close the computer right now. It's uploading a video at the moment, so it, uh, it can't be unplugged, so I'm going to have to have both hands on the situation. But in any case, this cooling pad is very simply out of things you can get from the kitchen. So all it is, the aluminum body of the laptop takes the heat and conducts the heat very well, and then inside here, let's try to do this without interrupting the upload, um, this is, if you can see that, this is basically a, what do you call it, a cake pan, I guess is what you call it? So it's basically a cake pan, and it's just one that we weren't using downstairs in the kitchen, and so it is metal, as you can maybe tell from listening to the sound of it, but it is basically, it's a, a pan and it conducts the heat very well because it's metal as well. So one thing that, uh, that happens, the laptop body gets really hot and if you happen to be having like this here, if you have a wooden desk, wood, it, to my understanding, wood absorbs heat and so it kind of, if the laptop is sitting right on the desk, then the laptop would get hot and the desk would absorb the heat and then the laptop would be sitting on a hot desk, and so then it's not a very good situation for getting rid of heat very fast. So this thing kind of gets the, the heat, it takes the heat onto the metal, and so it's really nice. And the nice thing about it as well, one nice thing is, let's stick this back down here, one nice thing is that because it's so big, if you can tell here, it's like, what is that, an inch or two, two inches thick, something like that, and so it's very nice indeed, because, think of it kind of like a heat sink, actually. Like how, if you've seen processors in computers, you have your, your processor, 
and it has like normally a, a heatsink. At least it used to. Back in the days of that computer over there, um, it's got a I think it's a Pentium two processor in it or something like that. And how it does its uh, its heat management is basically it has the one fan from the power supply, and then it goes, and you got your processor which happens to be a square like maybe about that big a rectangle, and then it goes and has a whole bunch of metal fins coming off of it, and basically those metal fins, they take the heat from the processor and bring it out into the metal, and then the uh, from the fan, the air goes past the metal, and because it's a large surface area, it can get rid of the heat very fast. So that's basically how the, uh, the concept of this thing is it gets rid of the heat very fast because it's a larger surface area. As you can tell, it's, uh, it's got a fair bit of depth to it. And so it's very nice for taking rid of, for getting rid of the heat that way. And as I said earlier in the video, there are two methods for getting rid of the heat. There is the one which is to take air and just blow the hot air out of the way. But the second way is to actually cool down the actual air around the laptop and we'll get to that in a second. So this is going to be a bit more difficult to show without unplugging the computer, but basically inside the case in here, let's try to get this up, is a compartment. I don't know if you can see that, but okay, uh, this, the light just flickered. Apparently we're losing power at the moment. What is happening? That is a rare occurrence. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but the, um, yeah, the fan went and dipped in speed and the light up there went and flickered a bit and stuff like that. It looked uh, very odd. It wasn't long enough to, uh, to shut off that computer there, so that's good. That's weird. Anyways, back to the point. What I was trying to say is that in here is a compartment where you can put freezer packs. So be very careful if you try to do that though, and I'll get to why in a minute. If you're trying to put freezer packs inside that thing, so I used to do that actually at one point, especially during the summer, it was very, very hot, and so I would put freezer packs, and what they would actually do, the freezer packs would be big enough that the freezer packs would actually hit, like, touch against the metal of this thing, and so what happens with that is the freezer pack is cold, um, freezer pack, cooler pack, depending on what you call it in your area, um, but anyways, so it's really cold, and so it touches against this, which contacts the aluminum of the laptop, and so it really cools it down really fast, and you can actually see if you have the, uh, CPU meter running. If your CPU, like in this situation, was thermal throttling and slowing down, then I actually saw it was like the um, the usage on the CPU, the load on the CPU was up way at like 80%, 90%, something like that, and then as soon as putting the freezer packs in, all of a sudden the load went way down to like 10%, and so it really helped to cool the machine down. But be very careful if you're doing that because of something I actually found by accident. What happened was one day I set the laptop there, it was actually off, so it wasn't producing its own heat, and I was working on something else. I was actually working on repairing that lamp up there. There's a big screw through the middle of it, if you can see that. But in any case, what had happened was that the computer wasn't producing any heat, and so it cooled down, because of the freezer packs, it cooled down really cold, and it was like cold to the touch, and what happened, I don't think it went below zero, by the way, but it, it got really cold, and so what happened was the humidity in the air condensed onto the bottom of the computer, and it really ended up in not a good situation. Um, so, it, uh, long story short, I left the computer off for a long time. So if ever you get into that situation, just if the computer's off, just leave it off, and leave it off for... Um, hours, leave it off for as long as you think it needs, and then a few hours longer, or maybe double the time or whatever, just to make sure it's good, but and dry and stuff like that on the inside. But in any case, now it's working again. Um, but, yeah, be careful in that situation. What happens, actually, in this situation now is, I think it only happened once. I, I know it only happened once, but I think why it only happened once was, so as long as it is running hot enough, it won't cool down enough to condense the humidity onto the computer. But I think what happened was because the computer was off, and it would do the same thing if it's in sleep mode or something like that, but because it was off, it cooled down so much 
that it actually condenses the humidity. So be very careful that if you use freezer packs, you only use them when it's running exceptionally hot, stuff like that. But that is a very effective way bringing the, the CPU from 80% right down to 10%. Um, that's a very effective way to cool it down really fast. So hopefully this gives you some ideas for how to, at no cost or low cost, how to cool down a laptop that is running really fast and hard, well not fast, running slow because it's running hot and stuff like that. And hopefully that gives you some ideas for how to fix that situation and uh, let me know what ideas you can come up with as well. If you come up with different ideas, um, either maybe based on something I talked about or maybe just something else in particular or, or in general or whatever. But in any case, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys and stuff like that, and see you guys later. Yeah.